Hello guys, welcome back and before I get on topic, I'd just like to remind you that if you enjoy this video and get through it, uh, a like rating would be appreciated if you enjoyed the video. And also if you want to keep up with more ramblings or my thoughts, then feel free to subscribe. It is definitely not necessary, but it is very much appreciated. Now, let's get on to the topic. As you know, Super Smash Brothers for 3DS, and yes, that is the official title. I was not expecting that to be the title. I was expecting like Super Smash Brothers Universe or something, like Final Fight, something. I don't know. That's just that's another game, but copyrights and stuff, but oh well. So, the demo just got released for um Nintendo Platinum members, I do believe. And I, myself, am not a Nintendo Platinum member. I never register my Nintendo, my Club Nintendo codes. So if I have one, I'd probably just give it away on my channel. I don't know, because I, I know one person that uses them, but I don't really see them that often. But, yeah. I managed to get a code on because one of my friends is a Platinum member. And if you are a Platinum member, you got four beta codes, I do believe. One being yours beta code. I think I'm not well not beta code uh demo code or whatever. And this is essentially just my ramblings on what I think of the of the game itself. I mean it's it's uh, it definitely teases you. I can say that much. It it only has five playable characters that being Mario, Link, Villager, Mega Man, and Pikachu, which are pretty much standard characters that you'd come to um, expect from a Super Smash Brothers game, but yeah, well, in addition to Mega Man and Villager. Now, let me talk about how they actually control in the demo. Or no, first let me tell you how they actually tease you. So, usually in a demo for like a fighting game, if you can't pick the other characters, they only have like the selection of the five and that's it. They don't show you any of the other characters, but like the tease that this game is, it shows you the full character, well not the full character roster, it shows you the, I assume the playable characters from the start and not the ones you can unlock, but it shows you all those characters, but you can't, you just can't pick them, like it's really, really annoying and it just seems really unnecessary. Like, that may just be me nitpicking, but that's that's just my thoughts on it. I thought it was a pretty, like, uh, it was just, it was exactly what I said. It's just like a tease, so that's definitely one of the drawbacks to the demo for me is that it's good that you can see all the characters and their, not their sprites, but their character portraits there. You cannot see the alternate colors, which is kind of a bummer, but if you can't pick them, why would you be able to even see that? So, you got five characters, you got one stage, which is, um, I can't forget what it's called, I think it's called Battlefield, I'm not sure, and that's about it. And another draw, another drawback to this demo is, it, um, you can't change it to lives, unfortunately, or stocks, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you have two minute time matches, and that's it. Once those two minutes are up, whoever has the most kills, yada yada, you know how it works if you've played any Super Smash Brothers game from the first one. So, there's that. But one really, really unique thing that they included with this demo that I don't believe I've seen any other demo do is the fact that they included wireless multiplayer to it. Which means that if someone else has this demo, you can essentially play with them like as if you had the full retail game uh, over um Nintendo 3DS connection. I don't know what you call it when you just connect two comp to um systems to play it. I I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but yeah, there's wireless play in that which I thought it was a really good really 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 good thing because today I was at school and some random guy want, saw that I was playing um the demo and he, we started playing a couple matches and yeah it's pretty cool that they did that for a demo and that they went through the extra effort to actually put wireless play on the actual demo itself now as for the controls and the way the characters control and everything essentially 
if they the way I look at it, I mean, there's a there's videos out there of people's final smashes and things like that. And my general rule of thumb with this game is that if they were in brawl, they're most likely control the exact same with few minor details. Mario, I never really used in Brawl, but from what I can tell, he controls exactly the same. His final smash is exactly the same, and now someone's probably going to say, well, Mario doesn't do this when he does his down B and stuff like that. I don't play Mario, but this is just my my um, my thoughts, because I've played all these characters for a really... On the demo version, I not on the Brawl, not on Brawl. But I have played all these characters to a great extent, and I've probably played this demo more than I have any other game that I actually own. So, Mario, for the most part, is exactly the same. Link, on the other hand, they changed a little bit. I'm not sure if it's because of the engine the game's running on, because in Brawl, he was kind of, he wasn't kind of, he wasn't fast, but he wasn't slow. He felt kind of clunky and, like, had a lot of weight to him. And, oh boy, in this version... Link is really, really agile, to me at least. And if I haven't mentioned this before, these are just my thoughts. You can completely disagree with me. I don't mind that. And if you want to tell me something that you thought about the demo, feel free to comment that. But, yeah, Link is very, very agile. And he has this new move where I'm not sure if it was in Brawl or not. But I have played Link in Brawl, and I don't remember this move ever being there. And it is the fact that it's really hard to explain. Like, if you run in a direction and you tap A, you do, like, a really, really weird... Not really weird, but you do, like, a jump and you slash them with your sword. So, it's a really, really powerful move despite it sounding really weak. I've sometimes KO'd people off of nothing but um, but that. So, it's pretty powerful. Next up, we have Pikachu, which... If you've ever played Pikachu in a Super Smash Brothers game, you know how he controls. He is a carbon copy of Brawl, of Melee, and of not not Super Smash Brothers 64. I don't think he's the same as that because he didn't have the little uh, side B move where he charges up a headbutt. I don't think he had that. But yeah, Pikachu for the most part is relatively unchanged. His final smash is the same and his um, moves are all the same. I think. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, I haven't played Brawl in like a really long time. Next up, we have Mega Man, which is... Well, no, I'll actually, I'll actually skip Mega Man and I'll come back to him. Uh, next up, we have Villager, which is definitely one of the oddest choices. Well, not the oddest. There's still one more that's really odd, but... I will avoid spoilers to anyone who doesn't want to look at the full character list and wants to be surprised when they first when they play the game for the first time about who is in the game. So I won't say who it is, but for the most part, Villager, he he's not good, but he's not bad. All of his moves are really weird, and you can't really chain much to him. Or maybe I'm just not good at the game. Uh, yeah, he's just, he feels really, I can't explain it. He, he doesn't really control, like, any other character that's ever been in a Super Smash Brothers game. So, there's really no one I can compare it to. The closest person I could probably compare it to is probably Mr. Game & Watch. But even then, that's a really, really far stretch. So, yeah. Overall, he doesn't seem that powerful but the one thing about him that makes him completely overpowered is his aerial recovery move you know the up b move you use that is the most overpowered thing i've ever seen i've actually tested this multiple times and i've jumped all the way to the bottom of the stage and flown back up only to be all the way at the top of the stage to where i barely surviving and if i went any farther up i'd probably die immediately that thing is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen and i'm pretty sure that's how it is in the final game because it released already in japan i do believe and yeah he's really really um 
overpowered. Well, not he's not overpowered, but his up A is. So, yeah. And next up, we have Mega Man, which, to my excitement and to almost everyone else's, they were really, really happy when they saw Mega Man. And mostly what he is, is he... He's a very agile character, and from what I've seen online, he's apparently the most overpowered character right now because of the ability to chain all this. He has the Mega Buster that can charge up and shoot a giant. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Pl- I don't play Mega Man. I've played some of them, but I've never beaten one. But he charges it up and he fires the Mega Buster and stuff like that. And yeah, he has like he has a typical Mega Man moves you would expect. I think all of his moves are pulled from moves you get in the actual games. So yeah, he definitely he's definitely a really really enjoyable character. And if I had to pick one person that's probably my favorite right now, it would probably be him because everyone else I've s- Villager I really have no interest in. He feels I don't know. I just don't I just don't feel like I would enjoy him. Maybe if I give him more time, I would. And all the other three, I've played extensively in the other... Not not extensively, I haven't played, um... What do you call it, um... Mario a lot. But, yeah. Um, Mega Man is really, really fun. And his final smash is essentially he calls upon the other four Mega Mans. I think he calls upon, uh... The Star Force Mega Man, the Battle Network Mega Man... Uh, I think he does the Mega Man Volnut. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name. He was in Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I'm not exactly sure if that's how he how he, what his name is. But he there's one more, but I can't remember it. And they all like combine their Mega Busters and shoot one beam out of people. And yeah, that's about it. There's really nothing else to say about the demo. I mean. I got the early demo, and it's pretty enjoyable, and the one thing that I'm not sure if Nintendo is actually going to go back on is that demos on the 3DS have a 30, 30, 30 launch time, 30 launches that you can do with the software, which means if you open the software, you're back at 29, you open it again, it's 28, and like, excuse me. And if it goes to zero, I don't know what happens, but I just know that you have no plays left on it, and I'm not sure if you can re-download it. Now, the good thing about this demo is that, at least for me, I do not have limits for that. I can down, I can launch it as many times as I feel like it, and it definitely is much appreciated because I think I would have probably gone through all of them by now. So that was my little thought dump podcast type thing i'm not exactly sure what to call this yet it's just a random rambling video but overall i'm really excited for super smash brothers to come out here in the united states and i will most likely be getting it day one and playing the ever loving hell out of it so just one final note is that um for the most part like i said if the character is in brawl their final smash is essentially the same to an extent. Well, that's not true for everyone. Some of their final smashes are tweaked differently. Uh, Zero Suit Samus has her own final smash now. That is not just her putting him back on the suit. So, that's really good. But, they did screw over my main, which is Sheik. And her... um. Final Smash is still the same. It's still just the light arrow, and so is Zelda's. It's pretty depressing that they didn't give her her own Final Smash, but who knows? Maybe I still have a hope for it on the Wii U version, but I doubt they will change the Final Smashes through a different console or anything. So, yeah. So, that was my thought dump slash podcast. I'll probably find a way to name this by the time this gets uploaded. So, yeah. If you wanna, if you enjoyed the video, wanna leave it a like rating, and if you wanna keep up, well, if you wanna keep up with my ramblings about random things, feel free to subscribe. It's not necessary, but it is very much appreciated, and I will give you a virtual hand hug or a virtual hug. I think is what I said, virtual hug. I don't know how you do that, but I will give you a hug. So yeah, uh, 
So yeah, comment down below what your thoughts on the Super Smash Brothers demo are is if you have it and what is your main, I should say. Who do you who are you most excited for? Personally, I am excited for Pac-Man cuz it's just amazing. Like I've seen all of his, his gameplay and everything and it's pretty fun. But I'm dragging out this video way too long. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.